students how are you all i hope you all are very fine now in the last class we have studied about how to find out the nth term of any given arithmetic progression by with the help of the formula that tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d ye formula pada tha a plus n minus 1 into d now today we are going to study how to find out the sum of n terms of a given arithmetic progression okay the formula to find out that is sn is equals to n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula to find out the n term, sum of n terms of given arithmetic progression. Okay. Now how to apply this formula? One more thing. If I break it down as Sn is equals to n upon 2, then this a can be written as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. Now what what is this one? This is t nth term. A plus n minus one into d is the nth term. So we can write s n is equals to n upon two a plus t n, where t n denotes the nth term of that given arithmetic progression. Okay, this will be clear with the help of a few questions. So let's start with example number eleven. Let's see. S n is equals to n upon two, two a plus n minus one into two d. Okay, and we need to find out the sum of n terms of the given arithmetic sequence. The sequence is eight comma three comma minus two. So this is an arithmetic progression, and we need to find out its sum up to twenty two terms. How many terms? Up to twenty two terms. It means that the value of n is twenty two. Okay, now how to do this one? Let's apply. We know that S n is equals to n upon two to a plus n minus one into d. Okay, let's put n is equals to twenty two. So S twenty two means sum of twenty two terms of this given arithmetic sequence equals to twenty two upon two to a. What is the value of a in this arithmetic progression? It is eight. That is the first term plus n is twenty two minus one. And what is the value of d? That is the common difference. The difference between any two consecutive terms. That is three minus eight will be minus the five. Okay, so I'll I'll double. So eleven eight to the sixteen plus this will be twenty one into minus five. So let's see eleven then sixteen minus one zero five. We'll subtract sixteen from one zero five. Let's see what we get. Eighty nine. So you will get eleven into minus eighty nine. Eighty nine into eleven. Nine seventy nine. So we will get nine seven nine minus. Okay. So this will be the this is the sum of n terms. Sorry, twenty two terms of this arithmetic progression. I hope you are understood. Let's move on to the next one. If the sum of first fourteen terms of an AP is one zero five zero, okay. The sum of first fourteen terms of an arithmetic progression is given one zero five zero, and its first term is ten. That's right. First term is ten, okay. And find its twentieth term. We need to find out t twenty will be what. We need to find out its twentieth term. So let's see. The sum of uh, n terms is given by S n is equals to n upon two. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. What? So now, what will be the value of n here? The n is 14. So we write s 14, which is given s 14 is equals to 1050. We'll apply this formula: 14 upon 2, 2a plus 14 minus 1 into d is equals to 1050. Two sevens are fourteen. Got it? Then seven ones are seven. Seven fives are thirty-five, one fifty. So we'll be getting twenty plus thirteen d equals to one fifty. So we'll get thirteen d equals to one fifty minus twenty. That is one hundred thirty, or d is equals to ten. So we have got the value of d. 
and the value of a is 10. So easily we can find out t20. What is the formula to find out t20? We will apply this formula tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into t. What is the value of n here? The value of n will be 20 since we need to find out the 20th term of this given arithmetic sequence. So we will write t20 equals to a plus 19 d. 19 means 20 minus 1 into t. What is the value of a? The value of a is 10. That's what the value of a plus 19 and the value of b is also 10. So we will get 10 plus 190 that is 200. Therefore the 20th term of this given arithmetic sequence is 200. Let's move on to the next question. I hope you have understood. Let me write 12, 24, comma 12, sorry, 21, comma 18 must be taken so that the sum becomes 78. Okay. The question is how many terms of this automatic progression must be taken to make the sum 78. Let's see how to do this one. Let us find, let us believe or let us suppose that the n terms of this AP taken makes the sum 78. Okay. Please try to understand. हमने ये सपोज किया कि इस AP के अगर हम n terms ले लें तो सम हमारा कितना हो जाएगा 78. That is the sum of n terms is 78 that we have supposed. If somehow we are able to find out the value of n, then our task is fulfilled. Okay. So let's put the formula n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into t equals to 78. What is the value of n? We need to find out. What is the value of a? a is 24 plus n minus 1. And what is the value of d? 21 minus 24 that is minus 3. So the value of d is minus 3 equals to 78. Okay. Now what we will do? We will solve this one to get n upon 2. This will be 48 minus 3n plus 3 equals to 78. Now 48 plus 3, how much you will get? 51. So n upon 2, this will be 51 minus 3n equals to 78. Now what we need to do? This 2 will be multiplied here. And as 2 go cross multiply here again, 78 into 2 and we will get a quadratic equation as now we will get n 51 minus 3n is equals to 78 into 2. So what we will get 51n minus 3n square is equals to 8 to the 16 1, 156. So we get a quadratic equation. We will take this both of them to the right hand side to get 3n square minus 51n plus 156 equals to 0. So we have got a quadratic equation. Let's see whether these two terms are divisible by 3 or not to reduce the quadratic equation. Okay, so we will divide the entire equation by 3. So we will get n square minus 3 ones are 3, 3 sevens are 21 plus 3 fives are 15, 3 twos are 6. So we have got the quadratic equation n square minus 17n plus 52. So let's solve this equation. We have got n square minus 17n plus 52 equals to 0. So you must factorize this one. So 52 will have, we must make such factors of 52 so that on adding, adding we get 17 and on multiplication we must get 52. Let's factorize 52. So we get 2 2 is a 4. Okay. So 13 into 4. So the factors are n square minus 13n minus 4n plus 52 equals to 0. And will be taking common n minus 13 minus 4 n minus 30 equals to 0. So n is equals to 4 and n is equals to 30. So either 4 terms or 13 terms of this arithmetic progression must be taken to make the sum as 78. I hope you have understood. Try to solve the questions. Let's move on to the next one. Example number 14. Find the sum of 1000 positive integers. Okay, we need to find out the sum of 1000 positive integers. 
okay. and second one we need to find out the sum of first n positive integers let's see how to do this one now 1000 positive integers positive integers starts from 1 to up to 1000 so we need to find out the sum of this sequence what is the value of a in the sequence it is 1 and the common difference is also 1 so we need to find out the sum of 1000 terms because this AP will contain 1000 terms equals to 1000 upon chill L formula like SN is equals to N upon 2 2A plus N minus 1 into D this is the formula to find out the sum of N terms now what is the value of N since we need to find out the sum of 1000 terms therefore the value of N will be 1000 let us put the value of N so S1000 that is the sum of 1000 terms of this arithmetic progression will be 1000 upon 2 2a the value of a is 1 plus 1000 minus 1 and d is also 1 so you will be getting 500 2 plus 999 so add you will get 500 into So we will multiply 5, 0, 0, 5 and so this will be 5 lakh 500 or 50 lakh 5 lakh 500. So this is the sum of 1000 positive integers. Now they have also asked to find out the sum of n positive integers. So let us do that one also to find out the sum of n positive integers. The formula is seen. The sequence will be 1, 2, comma, up to n terms. And I give the terms the n terms. Take a minute to find out the sum of n terms and positive integers. Okay. So the formula is Sn equals to n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 2d. Fine. Now, what is the value of a? The value of a is 1 n minus 1 value of d is also 1 so we will be getting this will be 2 plus n minus 1 so you will get n plus 1 so you will get n into n plus 1 by 2 this is the sum of n positive integers ok this is the sum of n terms of any of a series which contains positive integers let us move on to the next one I hope you have understood Find the sum of 20, first 24 terms of the list of numbers whose nth term is given by Okay, so let's see example number 15 It says that we need to find out the sum of first 24 terms of, a, of an arithmetic progression whose nth term is given by the equation an is equal to 3 plus 2n now let's see how to do this one. Now, since this is the equation which gives us the nth term of an arithmetic progression. So if I put the value of n is equals to 1, I will get what? I will get a1, 3 plus 2 into 1, that is 3 plus 2 equals to 5. That is a1 is equals to 5. So we have got the first term of this arithmetic progression as 5. Now if I put n is equals to 2, what I get a2 equals to 3 plus 2 into 2 that is 3 plus 4 is equals to 7. Similarly, if I put 3, 4 and so on, I will get the third term, fourth term and fifth term respectively of this arithmetic progression. So, with the help of this, we can get the arithmetic progression which is 5, the first term is 5 and the second term is 7 and the third term will be 7 plus 2, 9 and so on. So we have got the arithmetic progression. Now what we need to find out? We need to find out the sum of 24 terms of this arithmetic progression. So we will apply the formula. Sn is equals to n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So we will be applying this formula. 
Now, what will be the value of n here? The value of n will be 24 since we need to find out the sum of 24 terms of an arithmetic progression. Therefore, S24 will be equals to 24 upon 2, 2a. What is the value of, what will be the value of a? The value of a will be 5 plus 24 minus 1 and the value of d will be 2. 7 minus 5, 2. The common difference is 2. So, this will be 12. Okay, very fine. This will be 10. This will be 23 into 2. That is 46. So, you will get 12. 10 plus 46. 56 into 12. So, you will get 56 into 12. So, you will get 6. Now, let us see example number 16. Now, the manufacturer of a TV set produced 600 sets in the third year. Okay. In the third year, he has produced 600 TV sets and 700 sets in the seventh year. Okay. In the seventh year, 700, very fine. Then, assuming that the production increases uniformly by a fixed number every year, find the production in the first year. We need to find out the production in the first year. Okay, then the production in the 10th year, okay, and also the total production in the first 7 years, first 7 years, okay, this we need to find out, the production in the 10th year, E10, okay. so these are the things that we need to find out, it is given that in the 3rd year, the number of TV sets produced is 600 and in 7th year it is 700 and it forms an arithmetic progression. Okay, so we will apply the formula T3 is equals to A plus 2D is equals to 600, then T7 equals to A plus 6D equals to 700, let's subtract both of them, this and this cancel out, you will get minus 4D equals to minus 100, minus and minus cancel out, D is equals to 100 upon 4, so D is equals to 25, so we have got the value of D, D is equals to 25. Now we need to find out what we need to find out? We need to find out the first term that is the value of A. So how to get the value of A? D is equals to 25. We will put either of the equation either in this one or in this one. Let's put D is equals to 25 here. So let's see what we get. We will be carrying this there. Uh, so A plus 2 and D is 25 is equals to 600. A plus this will be 50, 600. A is equals to 600 minus 50, that is 550. Therefore, in the first year, the production is 550 sets. Now, what we need to do? We need to find, so first answer we have got that is 550. Now, we need to find out T10, that is the 10th term of this arithmetic sequence. So, how to get the 10th term? Let's see how to get the 10th term. So the value of A is 550 and D is 25. D and Pavila 25. Sure. So T10 is equals to A plus 9D. What is the value of A? A is 550 plus 9 and D is 25. Okay. So we will get 550 plus 225. So 550 plus 225 you will get 775. Therefore, the production in the 10th year was 775. Also, we need to find out the total production of 7 years. It means that we need to find out the sum of 7 terms of this arithmetic progression. So, let's do it. How to find out the sum of 7 terms of this arithmetic progression? That is, we need to find out S7. So, the formula to find out the n terms is 10 upon 2, that is 7 upon 2. 2a, what is the value of a? The value of a is 550 plus 7 minus 1, that is 6, and d is how much? d is 25. Okay, so we will get 7 upon 2, this will be 1100 plus 150. Okay, so we will get this will be 7 upon 2, this will be uh, 1, 2, 5, 0. 
so you'll get 7 upon this to cut off. 625, 625 into 7, 625 into 7, let's see what we get, 4375, so the total number of TV set produced in the 7 years is 4375, okay, okay, so this was all about the examples of the exercise now, uh, now try to solve the exercise 5.3, then we will be continuing the next class, try to solve the questions so that you understand the concepts well, till then, good luck, study well, thank you.